Hey, I am three plus key, your favorite <laughs> social worker. Welcome back. Uh, today I went to the Heart Church Lodge for the Heart Church clothing closet. Uh, I love free things. I love to look great and leave a awesome first impression. And so for that, I um, I like to look the part. I like to look professional or fun. I like to show a little bit of personality. I also am not very interested in spending so much money on the clothing to just look good um, and ultimately then feel good. So clothing closets can be hit or miss. So I decided to check out the Heart Church clothing closet. Um, it's advertised uh, Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, so here's kind of what it looked like going in there to the Heart Church in Missoula, Montana. Uh, I walked in. I was greeted by two lovely ladies. All I did was sign my name, my phone number, how many people I was shopping for. Okay? They told me men's section is this way, women's is upstairs, children's stuff is here, and there's some snacks right over there if you would like some. I said, lady, don't threaten me with a good time, okay? They also have a uh, a food box provision as well. I opted out of it because uh, what I'm searching for at this point in my life to supplement my income is fresh produce. So what they have in these food boxes are frozen meat and canned goods, just so you know, so you can get clothes, food, and a couple of snacks over there and some toys for the kids while you're at it. Um, the process couldn't have been any simpler. I signed my information. She told me where things were. Go get you a Rice Krispie snack if that's what you're trying to do. You want food? Yes, no, no, I don't. Okay. She hands me a, you know, a white garbage bag and upstairs I went, and uh, I'll tell you, the items were very carefully um, organized, just just very neatly organized. They had bras, uh, just a few pairs of shoes, but an abundance of clothes. Uh, while I will say they weren't um, organized per size, who cares? This is free clothes. So you know your girl. I'm not looking for any old thing. I'm looking for clothing with tags on it um, or clothing that I can envision to be beautiful if I just wash them or sent them to the dry cleaners or what have you. So let's unbag what I got from the Heart Church clothing closet. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do this. I got this big bag full of stuff. And honestly, I was telling somebody, I forgot what I got <laughs> this morning. So this may be a bit of a surprise. And I will say it's also not too busy. There's people there. Wherever there's free, there's people going to be there. But in the women's closet with me were maybe, I don't know, three women. It was fine. So I got this item. This is brand new. It came, it has the tag on it. It came from the World Market. Oh, I just saw this. This this shirt is $35. It's what they were selling it for. It was obviously in somebody's closet. And they said, I don't want that anymore. This right here is a little button down so regular like this with the collar out that's not my style but what I would do is pair these with um, my ripped white jeans 
and then kind of a uh, chola style, pull it all the way to the top. That's how I would wear that. Otherwise, it's kind of grannyish. This right here is fly. This is a quilt jacket. Uh, the creases are still in it, so this is also new. You can see, it's never been worn before. You have the quilted interior here and a little belt in the back. I would wear this opened um, and maybe just a camisole underneath. This right here, I don't know if you could tell, it's like a lace kind of thing. I just like, it's just something different. I wonder what it'll be like once I wash it. But this is just a little simple, you know, we're having a meeting, the air conditioning's on, you know, just a little something different, just like a lace kind of ribbon across the front. Nothing um, special, probably wear that with some black boots. Here we go. I saw these Nikes, obviously they're not for me. I have a friend that has like a bunch of kids. And I know in this economy, it can't be easy. I'm a huge fan of um, broke kids getting name brand stuff. Because it doesn't always go like that. I don't know how y'all were raised. <laughs> but name brand who <laughs> over here? We had Schmikey. Okay. We have uh, four stripes. On the Adidas. All day I dream about sauerkraut. That's kind of how we were rolling. So anyway, I picked these up for... They have so many kids. Somebody's going to fit into these Nikes. Somebody's going to like them. So I just picked them up because I was like, oh, yeah, my homeboy. And he's working. He can't get over here. This right here, I always like a little a little jean number. Can you see this? A little, a little jean number. This is also a white, I mean, it's summertime, right? It's a white jeans shirt. What you, what you want to do, you want to roll the sleeves up. Get your little, what am I wearing? I'm wearing like Marc Jacobs glasses right now. Here's one. Don't sleep on these. This is where you have, where the vision comes in. Okay. Nikes. Can you see? I don't know if it translates because I can't see it in the camera. But anyway... These are Nikes. They're kind of dirty. I ain't even gonna hold you. Okay? I ain't even gonna hold you. They're kind of dirty. I personally don't want to put bleach in my washing machine. However, I know I have a friend somewhere that wants to put bleach in theirs. Or that's willing to. Throw you a little $2.00. Whatever, maybe even buy you some bleach from the Dollar Tree. For $1.25, all I'm going to ask is that you wash my shoes and then I'll pick them back up and you have a big bottle of free bleach. How about that? That's how I roll. But anyway, they're just, just cute little slip-ons for the summer. Something cute. Okay. Next. I'm going to call this one the Topanga. This is some Topanga and Corey might have wore together. You know, if they were doing twinsies, matchings, twin, uh, where have you been? Corey and Topanga, nobody knows him. That's what this is giving. So, that's what it reminded me of, so I got it. Whatever, it's free. Hey, um, this little joint. It's just a little something. This little black pants, black boots. Just give them, um, look at this, tattoos out. This isn't for every meeting. This is for um, a meeting where you want to seem classy but relatable. So the three quarters, for those of us who are um, inked up, the three quarters, if you're going to do three quarters in a business setting, you want to make sure that the shirt is... Fly appropriate, professional, but 
you know, is flashy too. So I like the rust coloring on it. So I would do this three quarters with some black boots, maybe black pat platform boots and black pants, black jeans with this shirt and a black camisole under it. And this would be the only pop of flavor. And then the three quarters would expose my... Um, my tattoos, which would be fine in that scenario. Now, these, I had actually picked them up, put them back, picked them up again. Because I wasn't sure. What do you think? Work or nah? This is maybe like a Friday. This is kind of like a, a, right, even with the little jogger, and they are, if you can see at the bottom, they're joggers. Do you think I could get away with this at work? All right, well, here we go. Here's something. Here, <laughs> this is something, okay? Um, This right here. Y'all don't even know about this. You don't know about this type of sway. Some of y'all do, but most people don't. Because what you can do is the granny style, but you have to do something to offset it so that it's like youthful and fly. Your granny is actually fly, but she be doing too much. She puts you anyway. I don't want to talk about y'all's grandmas like that. You know what I'm talking about. She has some pieces. This is one such piece. Okay. You get you the right pair of jeans, the right matching pair of jeans with these and you open this up. Well, this is what I'm going to do anyway. You open it up and you just put a white camisole under it. Okay. That's what this one does. And then you ball out. You wait to be called cute. If you know, you know. You might not know. Now, here's the thing. Got a little bra. Bras are... Ex this for the ladies. Ladies. It's, it's tough out here. Uh, for, for all of us. Uh, those of us that require a little more... Supervision of our girls. Uh, you know, you, you might have to pay a price. So, so where you can get supervision, you know, a little covering, <laughs> go on and get it. So, happy about this. Happy about a little free brassiere always because, I mean, I mean, we're, well, we're talking minimum 40 a pop. That was brand new, by the way. I really don't, like, um, underwear is one thing you, you want to go ahead and, you know, even if you're buying cheap underwear, you want to go ahead and make sure that bad boy is brand new. And then wash it anyway. <laughs> if you didn't know, wash it anyway. Okay? Um, so that's brand new. That's new. <laughs> that's unworn. Don't wear used underwear. Um, this little joint... I do, I like a duster, I like a, a cardigan, there's a lot you could do with that, there's a lot you could do with that, that's a, a, a real quick way to just look cute, you get a camisole and a pair of jeans and then you just throw on a duster or, um, uh, uh, a duster or a uh, cardigan or a blazer over it and you, and you have to write, make sure you have the right shoes I would say if you, really anybody you want to make sure it has some kind of height on it so I love a good platform I love a good um, boot I love a, I love a wedge I will I will. Now, your girl with high heels, that ain't really it. 
Never learn. I'm a whole mess in heels, but I will do a heel in elevation. I, I, I co-sign it. So anyway, this is just something simple. This is all black. This is all black underneath it. If you really, if you want to do a little sum, put a white cami. White cami, black pants, if you want, if you want to do a little sum. I might even with this, I have some white chucks. White and black chucks, I might um, uh, pair with that. Here you have your standard business attire. This ain't, you know, Lee brand, your office slacks. This right here, this is, this is nothing special. But you do, you need to have clothes for every occasion. You also need to know your audience. So there are times when bright colors are probably not appropriate, right? Make sure staples, gray slacks, black slacks. Gray slacks, black slacks. White cami, black cami. S staples. If you can have two, one or two pairs of just your regular run of the mill, you know. Because you never know when it's time to tone it down. Okay. Speaking of, <laughs> I got these. These are not toning it down. This is picnic time. I'm going to pull these next, next potluck or picnic. That's why you already know what time it is. Little loofah. I love a loofah. No, I mean, you can't even really sleep on I would have taken two, three, four of these. Matter of fact, I might go back next week and get another loofah. You can never have, because they're so cheap. You you might, you could just switch them out. You can switch them out it's like super often. Anyway, free loofah. Yeah, for sure. With that. And then last but not least, I went over to the children's side to get a little booky book because your girl hasn't been reading children's books over here on uh tpk kids which is on sundays go check out that playlist tpk kids i used to read books all the time now i just give advice and talk all the time i need to go back to reading the books so i had an idea i saw this shout out to the care bears Shout out to the care bears if you know you know and you better know something <laughs> okay don't sleep don't sleep on a Care Bears. Care Bears stare. Remember all that positivity coming out of the, the belly? Anyway, uh, it gave me an idea that I could read books again. And then somebody could say they want the book. <coughs> and I will mail it. I'll mail it to them. For free. I think that was a good idea. <coughs> Would you guys like to see that? Excuse me. Would you guys like to see that? Me reading a book. And then the first person to, to comment. I, I send it to them. No strings attached. So I just kind of had that idea. Because um, over this way, we promote literacy. We promote advancement and entrepreneurship in our in our kids today okay um at any rate this was the heart clothing closet i'll provide the details below uh every thursday 10 a.m to 1 p.m in missoula montana but three plus key I ain't in Missoula, Montana. Cool. Don't worry about it. I say the same thing all the time. Google exists. Hop up on a Google, and what you do is this. You type in clothing closets near me. 
and it go. <laughs> and it, and it, it's, it's straight like that. It's so easy. Um, if you're broke, or you're broke because you pay your bills, shout out to, to these people. I'm broke, but all my bills are paid. Shout out to you. Amen. Right? That means you might need some assistance. And so a lot of when I do these community things, it's really, I want to highlight uh, resources for those of us who, I mean, honestly, we're not even eligible for any kind of assistance at ever, whatever, because we, we make, we make too much to get any help or sympathy, uh, but too little to kind of just do frivolous spending, too little to not have a budget, okay, if you don't have a budget, that's another story for another time. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but you need to you need to get that together too, friend. Anyway, Heart Church Clothing Closet Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Go get cute, baby. At any rate, I am 3 plus key. Who? Your favorite social worker out here showing you them resources and saving you some money. Um, subscribe to this channel. I know dang well you didn't go all the way through this video and you did not subscribe yet. Subscribe to this channel. If you're already subscribed, share this video. This was so much fun. Um, comment below what you thought about the fits. Comment below what you thought about the fits. Um, and... I don't know who who do you think where where should I go next? Where should I explore next? And don't forget to like the video, y'all. I'll talk to you later.